Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to introduce you my DIY force feedback wheel and how do I assemble my DIY force feedback wheel. Let's get started. The first part is the base. Here I use a 3mm steel plate with powder coats on it, but it still flex quite a bit so I would recommend a thicker steel plate or a thicker wooden board. Second is the DC motor. I use a 24V 300W DC motor model number is MY1016. It comes with a 5M14T timing pulley on the shaft. Next is a 5V 1000PPR rotary encoder with a 6mm shaft. There are two timing belts. The first one is 490-5M20 timing belt. And the second one is 86XL with 10mm wide. And then there are two XL20 timing pulleys for the encoder part one with 12mm hole and one with 6mm hole. Then there are two pillow block bearing units with 12mm board diameter. Then there are some M4 screws, M6 screws, washer and nuts. Then there are some 3D printed parts for the encoder, for the pillow block bearing units and for the steering wheel quick release. Last but not least is the shaft assembly. It is a 12mm shaft with a 5M6TT timing pulley and a DIY hub on it. The timing pulley and the hub should be fixed to the shaft. Here I use fixing screws and some thread locks to put them together. Next I will show you how do I assemble my DIY force feedback wheel. First, get the M6 screws and put them through the holes. Then put on the 3D printed parts. And then mount the shaft assembly and then puts on the belt and the timing pulley and then puts on the last pillow block bearing unit then use the tools to tighten up all the screws make sure all of them are nice and tight then put the 3D printed mount onto the encoder mount the encoder to the base Then use the M6 screws to mount the motor in place. The motor should slide to adjust the tension of the belt. Then put the timing pulley onto the encoder. And then we can put on the belt and make sure the timing pulleys are clearly near to each other. And then we can tension the belt. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Then we can put on the 3D printed parts for the quick release. And that's it. Thank you for watching this boring video. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment section.